What are you feeling right now? <sighs> the place makes me une more uneasy than usual. Tonight, we are in Walton, Kentucky at the historic Abner Gaines House. The family first built the property in the 1790s, and then in 1818 on the property, the family became the owners of the first stage line between Cincinnati and Lexington. With the devastating history of four confirmed deaths, the moment that we stepped into this house with our guides, Matt and Kelly, activity has already happened. Hi, how are you? We've got you some new people to come and visit you guys tonight. Are you glad that we're here? More company? There you go. We come with respect, with permission from Matt and Kelly to be here, and we're excited to spend the night with you. Thank you for letting us be in your home. Yeah, absolutely. That's awesome. Um, that was just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what made him rich? What, what did he do? Um, basically, he, he was just... Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Right now, we're gonna do kind of an intro session. Um, just introduce ourselves. I'm Trevor. I'm Caleb. And I'm Armand. We come with permission and respect. All right, let's get started. Tonight. 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 How many people are we speaking with? Seven. If you're willing to communicate with us tonight, we need, we need active responses to help you. If you can hear us, can you touch one of those lights over there? Either way, green or red, doesn't matter. Um, no. 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 How old are you? Huh? Like I feel like my head's being it could just be me or the rain, the weather, whatever, but like my head is spinning. Is that you? You suck. You suck, smell that? Once I heard the story of Margaret, I'm really interested in speaking with her. I have a real heaviness and sadness for the life that she was dealt. If, if Margaret, if you are here, would you please join us tonight? So to give a little bit more context, some of the, the history or what we've been told has been rumored to have been causing some of the activity here is an individual named Margaret Garner. In the 1800s, while slavery was still rampant, especially in the South and throughout Kentucky, Margaret Garner was a slave that lived in the Abner Gaines house. And she had escaped with her daughter at one point to Ohio for freedom. And at one point she was extradited back. She had killed her daughter so that her daughter did not live a life of slavery. So there is a lot of darkness. So for context, we were just talking about the history of Margaret. I got full goosebumps when you were talking about her story, like from head to toe. And Trevor's GoPro just went off. And yeah, yeah. As soon as it's in. Dude, I'm not getting like a serious sadness. I was just hearing. like, me too, and I don't do that. So the GoPro is back on. Uh, as soon as I said that there was a darkness associated with this house, um, the GoPro decided to shut off. And we believe that it's very likely or at least possible that Margaret's presence is still here. Let's try one more time okay. for a little bit. Residual. Something unexpected. Are you seeing somebody you don't usually see here? This is Margaret's daughter. He's so quiet. I will say, this is the first place in a really long time I felt oh. What? Even though Armand and Caleb cannot hear it, with his own ears, Trevor hears a woman say, hey. First place in a really long time, I felt it. Oh, oh, what? I felt it. Oh, I felt it. Oh, I hear a thing. What did it sound like? I don't know. I thought I heard it that way. Like, <laughs> let's just take a second. Yeah, let's, uh. So we are going to do the first 
Estes session of the night. We're actually gonna have Armand and Caleb. They will not be able to hear anything that I'm asking, anything that I'm saying. Get started. Get started. All right. What's your name? Me. Is. A great person. We'll grab you. Great. I would get out. What's your name? Give me a name. Wilson. Abner. I think I heard Abner. Are we speaking with one of the Ab with the uh, with Abner himself? I wouldn't move. Doors. Behind you. Close. I just, feel, I just feel like a breath on the back of my neck. Abner Gaines, is that you? It's me. Leave. Power. You, you don't want us here? Kill. Did you die here? When you. What do you think? Attach. I swear it said when you attach. You are not welcome to leave here with us. You're welcome to use our energy, our device's energy. You are not welcome to leave here with us. Please? No. Trevor? I just felt like a big wave of sadness. On the other side? Over me. On the other side? Getting impatient? Are you on the steps with me? To see us? Where are you right now? He's close. Evil. Footsteps. Margaret. No way. Hi! Like a, like a really feminine voice saying, hi! I'm sorry. I feel like somebody's standing over me. The light just got really dark. Out! Lights out. Man, Trevor. Yes, I'm here. Trevor, I'm not trying to be dramatic. I don't know if I've ever said this before. But I really do feel Something. Like say something. I feel like something's... Murder. Affecting me. And not like in a dramatic, creepy way, but I just feel like I don't feel like myself. Is something affecting me, or is it in my head? Psycho. I honestly feel like I'm uh -huh. gonna throw up. You feel like you're gonna throw up? I don't think I will. Why don't you step outside for some fresh air? Are we still speaking with Margaret? Excuse me, miss. No, there's a lot of pain and negativity in this house. Wrong, Trevor. I'm not trying to be annoying. I don't know what's wrong with me. So our mom is not feeling well. William. Who's William? Spirit. We decided to pull Caleb out of the Esta session and step outside for some fresh air. Before we left, we left a camera and a spirit box rolling on the stairwell. We also left a night vision camera rolling in the attic. So right now, I am gonna be the dumb one and I'm gonna go into the house by myself. Anybody who does these knows that it can be pretty terrifying. So here we go. Hello? I believe it just said my name. To anybody in the Abner Gaines house, could you make a noise for me? Margaret? This is Caleb. I'm reaching out to you. What are you feeling right now? <sighs> the place makes me more uneasy than usual. Um, I feel like I have to keep looking over my shoulder. I don't know if there's like somebody in the doorway that's watching us. Also just the responses that, that I got while Armand and Caleb wonder. I don't know if concerning is the word, but definitely a, a bit unsettling. Can I get a tap somewhere? Could you please tap for me? Maybe a device that's being recorded right now, but is not in front of me. Um, I hope 
that was recorded somewhere. I believe something just tapped and it did. Right now, I'm gonna go back upstairs and I'm actually going to take the spirit box and I'm gonna put it in the room where several people have taken their own lives. We decided to head back in and go to the attic for one final Estes session. I know when I'm scared, and yeah, I'll admit tonight I've been scared. Tonight was the first time, and I don't know how to explain it, where I really felt like I was trying to push something off of me. When I got out from that Estes down there, when you were still under and we were sitting next to each other, I told Trevor, I said, I feel like I'm fighting something off. I am about to go under, do an Estes method, always canceling. I will also have a blindfold on. Can you use the radio waves to talk to Trevor? Sure. Thank you. Who do I see? You see me, Armand, and Trevor. Hey guys. Jacob. Is here. Who are you to this place? Help you? You're here to help me? Armand. Armand has been affected a lot more than usual at this specific place. Do you know why? Do not. I'm always, sick. I'm always scared, but I, dude, all night I've been saying that I feel sick. I'm sick. What? I'm so tired. It's, I sound like I heard like a piano note. Please ask me. Ask you what? What do you want us to ask you? Who's haunting this place? Sins? Sins? The sins of the of Abner Gaines? No. Feel a breeze in front of me? Give us a sign. I'm trying. That's the flux. What was it? Was it you? It's red. I'm getting tired. That I felt something on my knee. He's he's scratching the same side that the flux went off. Mm. Okay. Are you getting tired? Are you trying to go to bed? Margaret, we're gonna let you go. Thank you so much for talking to us. We decided to pull Trevor out of the Estes session and pack up for the night. You okay, man? Yeah, I don't feel good. Why don't you go step outside? We can pack up. Yeah, take my car, please. The driver was signing out or whatever out there. My heart, like, fluttered a little bit, and then it feels like my stomach, like my stomach feels like I'm, like I'm about to barf. That's literally what I said to you. Mm -hmm. I honestly feel like I'm uh -huh. throw up. Feel like you're gonna throw up? We have never walked away and said, we felt sick, whatever. You were under when I was complaining about being sick and fighting something off. Like I've never felt so paranoid being somewhere. And that's a lot for you. To see you bad. jump over there at the table, it scared me. Bye house. You're not welcome to leave with us. We appreciate you communicating with us. Thank you. We've all dealt with some emotional stuff when we go through this and we listen to the, the spirit box for a elongated amount of time. You kind of deprive yourself from your surroundings and you're just in this intense environment. But physically, I don't know if I've ever physically been sick. I'm always scared, but this was next level. And we've been to some of the biggest hospitals and sanitariums and- Jails. Jails in the country and Something about this place really, really felt heavy and dark. I just felt very uneasy, very paranoid, almost as if we were being watched. And I don't really ever feel that way when we're places. Something's in that house. Before leaving for the night, it was time to review some things that occurred earlier in the evening. When we first arrived to the home, we left the spirit box rolling in the living room. <laughs>
Earlier in the night, when we made our way to the attic, something happened that we cannot explain. While walking in, you can see that we have a night vision camera securely propped up on a chair. You can even see all of us walking into the attic past the camera. But with our backs turned to the camera, we catch what sounds like something pushing it off the chair. Yeah, uh, 30, uh, 56. 56, my man. I didn't touch this chair. You didn't? What? 56. Nobody was around the chair at the time, and nothing bumped it. You're joking, right? No. That thing flew. Dude, that was solid on there. So what pushed the camera off the chair? 